Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much. And I am uh, Maria Victoria Mateos, and I work as a hematologist at the University Hospital of Salamanca in Spain. Philippe Mogo will be the presenter of this uh, abstract tomorrow. Okay, thank you. So, Philippe Mogo will present the results of this abstract uh, tomorrow, but uh, today, on behalf of the Daratumumabs tri team, I will present the results of this uh, open label multicenter phase 1b study of daratumumab in combination with backbone regimes in patients with multiple myeloma. Daratumumab belongs to a new class of drugs called anti-CD38 monoclonal antibodies. Daratumumab targets the myeloma cells by binding to an antigen CD38 expressed in the surface of the plasma cells. Daratumumab single agent has shown to be effective in relapsed and refractory myeloma patients. And uh, according to these results, uh, the main objective of this phase 1B trial has been to combine this uh, monoclonal antibody, Daratumumab, with the different backbones regimes commonly used for the management of multiple myeloma patients. The backbone treatments chosen for this trial were bortezomib plus dexamethasone, bortezomib plus melphalan plus prednisone, two regimes commonly used in the upfront setting of non-transplant candidates, VTD, bortezomib, thalidomide plus dexamethasone, a regime commonly used as induction prior to autologous stem cell transplant, and finally, pomalidomide plus dexamethasone, but in the setting of relapse and refractory myeloma patients. Here you can see the baseline characteristics of the patients, and as I mentioned, the median age is uh, more than 70 years for BD and VMP, 57 for VTD plus DARA, and 62 years for POMDEX plus daratumumab. The median exposition to daratumumab, the median number of, inf of infusion range between 8 and 12. And uh, concerning the disposition, I think it's important to note that uh, there were four discontinuations of the treatment. But you can see here as these uh, four or five uh, subjects electively taken off the study to proceed to autologous stem cell transplant, and uh, just uh, three patients discontinued in the POMDEX data, two of them uh, due to progression, another due to investigator criteria. Here you can see the safety profile of daratumumab plus the different backbone treatments. And uh, to note that uh, there were some serious adverse events but most of them related with the backbone therapy, and just one daratumumab-related serious adverse event consisting on a laboratory testing interference with the Eindorit cum stents. The other hematological and non-hematological toxicity were consistent with the toxicity reported priorly, prior with the backbones, VD, VMP, VTD, or pomalidomide plus dexamethasone, and just a few infusion-related reactions concerning the ratumumab-related safety profile, but most of them were of grade one and two, and they occurred during the first infusions. This is again the demographics. Ah, sorry. Here you can see the efficacy. If we focus on VD, VMP, and VTD, regimes uh, used in the upfront settings in patients of newly diagnosed, 100% of the patients responded uh, to this combination, including partial response uh, and some patients in very good partial response. If we focus on the pomalidomide plus dexamethasone plus daratumumab, I remember a combination used in patients in relapse and refractory disease. Again, 50% of the patients responded to this combination, and I would like to note that even one patient achieved stringent complete remission. 
Here you can see in a graph the maximal percentage change in the paraprotein from baseline. And you can see here, as most patients reduced their monoclonal component during the treatment with the daratumumab plus the different backbone treatments. The median time to force response was rapid, and this is consistent what, uh, when, what, with what have uh, previously observed with the different backbone treatments. And uh, in summary, we consider that the addition of 16 milligrams per kilogram of daratumumab to the various backbones was well tolerated in all evaluable patients and did not result in significant additional toxicity. And uh, finally, daratumumab was uh, associated with high rates of response in combination with the different backbones, belcade dexamethasone, belcade malfalan plus prodnisone, belcade thalidomide and dexamethasone, and pomalidomide plus dexamethasone. And uh, here I stop. Thank you for your attention.